So, hello, thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, well, mel welcome to the mess of this video. Uh, this is a video documenting, how many times am I gonna say video? This, <laughs> welcome to this mess of a video. Uh, this is all about my, I guess you call journey of having my implanted loop recorder fitted. I had this put in, in June, 2020. So this is, yeah, far, way far back um but i was lazy i didn't edit it so here we are sitting here in march <laughs> um so if you didn't know hi i'm daisy i'm 15 i have a connective tissues disorder called marfan syndrome that affects my whole life and yeah i re very oftenly that isn't a word go down to great Ormond street and so uh, this time we actually drove because I was staying for two nights, which we have drove before when I had my operation. I had a posterior spinal fusion. <laughs> when we had my operation, uh, my dad drove us down. But this is the first time just me and my mum driving down to Great Ormond Street in like central London. And you can see throughout the video, there's my mum going, I don't know where we are. <laughs> so yes, and thank you for clicking on this video. Bye. So we are in the middle of London and mum is getting stuck and is messing up everything nearly but well, I'm not we're messing on up. up, I just don't know where I am Daisy. Same thing. Everybody else knows where they are. <laughs> yeah because not we don't great. come from London, that's why. Right. Use the right lane to bear right onto Limehouse Link. Hello and welcome back. So it is now Friday morning and basically all I did last night was watch Sherlock on my iPad and I also did some drawing but it was a pretty like late night. I kept waking up and then falling back to sleep, waking up, falling back to sleep. So this morning it is now half past seven and we will be leaving to go for the hospital um, in about 10 15 minutes so then i'll try and get some virtue to the hospital bye Right, so I th right, so I thought I'd just clear up like why my hair looked that bad, 
uh, basically while they were putting my drapes on to cover like me actually looking at my implant and like them putting it in and everything they stuck it all to my hair so as they were taking them off I they literally ripped my hair out it was so fantastic <laughs> thank you so I thought I'd come back and actually talk about having the implant put in itself because I understand I couldn't find any resources when I had my implant put in about people explaining how it felt they did how it like everything and I know that my experience will be different from everybody else's because I suffer from a chronic condition hence uh, heart condition hence why I had mine put in but I had mine put in by a doctor I've seen since I was really young he really knew me so he was very reassuring he was like right we're gonna get this done it's gonna be okay um i was fully awake for mine uh all they did was numb the injection site cut me open put it in when they actually put it in i could still feel it it felt like sounds weird but it sound it felt like just like there was a snagging it was just friction that i could feel that's all and also because i'm really skinny they had to squeeze my like my chest to actually get the implant in so I did have a bit of a bruise afterwards. You will also have a very dodgy fake tan after because they put like a square of iodine out over it and I was boasting about that so much I was like right look at my fake tan look at this but if you're gonna have this put in trust me it's nothing to be afraid or scared of. I've had things that are much worse but this isn't the best but it isn't the worst at the same time. So I wish anybody luck who actually has this put in.